How are you doing, my people? This is your bro, Banter City. And uh, we're on the road to TLC, Tables, Ladders and Chairs. Wait, what? I didn't see a single table, ladder or chair in the whole show of Monday Night Raw. Well, I did see some in TakeOver War Games, but none in Monday Night Raw. Nor did I see anything at Survivor Series. Well, I do did see one chair. When Bobby Roode trying to plant Roman Reigns' head on that chair with a glorious DDT, but that didn't happen. So, where is WWE headed? Next week, come Sunday, uh, I mean to say next Sunday, we have tables, ladders and chairs. But we haven't seen the storylines progressing towards it. So, I don't, I'm not sure whether who's going to face for tables match, who's going to face for ladder match, or who's going to face for TLC match, or whether these three things can happen. Well, everything's going to happen. So next week's Raw is going to feature a lot of tables, ladders and chairs. It's going to be a rush hour, mind you. And this week was fun. We got to see Bobby Lashley taking on Kevin Owens and then Akam and Razor would come. Uh, I think Shane McMahon is be behind the hiring of Akam and Razor to target Kevin Owens. It could be Seth Rollins too. But yes, yeah, Seth Rollins is definitely turning heel. But that doesn't mean that he's be behind Akam and Razor. So Akam and Razor destroy Kevin Owens. On the other side, we see Lana and Lashley hiring private detectives to keep Rusev off. What the fuck? Why would they hire private detectives? Why not someone like a bodyguard? Bodyguard would have done a better job. But no, these detectives instead arrested Lashley when he said that when he told the detective, you had one job. Oh, so the detective got pissed and I think Lana slapped one of the detectives. So both of them got busted and were taken away. So it was a really funny segment. And Seth Rollins tried to pretend or Seth Rollins acted like as if he made a mistake last week and acted like a baby face. We got to see the Raw Tag Team Champions destroy local jobbers, but wait, what the fuck is wrong with Ivar and Eric? Why aren't you fighting badasses like AOP and other tag teams in the Raw roster? Why the fuck do you need to destroy jobber after jobber every week, even after becoming Raw champions? Ah, oh, so depressing. Okay, we also got to see Lister Black beating down a cruiserweight athlete. I think it was Tony Nese, correct. And then we saw confrontation between Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton. Drew cutting a small promo, which was, by the way, explosive. Drew coming in full form and Randy Orton getting beat up by the club. Drew taking the short alley. Patli gali pakadli Drew ne. So, Drew would get rescued. Uh, I'm sorry, Randy would get rescued by... The baby faces, Humberto Carrillo, Rey Mysterio, and who else was it? It was Ricochet. And then they would go on to face the club in a three-man tag team match. The OC wins. AJ Styles hits Styles Clash on... Who was it? I think it was Ricochet. And pins. One, two, three. And an RKO out of nowhere on AJ Styles. Randy Orton stands tall and the show closes. Wait, it's not over yet. So we also got to see Charlotte versus the Kabuki Warriors. It was a handicap match. Charlotte looked really strong. She is the female Roman Reigns. It all ended with an elbow drop from the top rope by Kyrie Sane. My God, that looked beautiful. I think that's all folks, well I'm not gonna be doing the traditional recap because one of my subscribers told me, one of my friends told me that 
I should go off script just like Seth Rollins does it on TV for the past two weeks.